Hello viewers, welcome to Libo Buhay, your information TV. Today, I will be discussing about how to make a pomato. Does any one of you heard about pomato? Pomato actually is derived from two plants, the tomato and the potato, or the potato and the tomato. That is why we call it pomato. And that is a way where you are going to graft a tomato into a potato plant and why you should do it yes if you have a limited place in your area for example you don't have a garden you only have like a balcony and it's not a small area or if you have an uh, a garden but it's just a very small garden and you want a lot more of plants in it so why not make two things at the same time two plants in one pot or in one area and that is a pomato the potato this is the potato plant and this is the tomato plant. So what you do is you graft the tomato plant into the potato plant and the result is, is a pomato where the upper part will be bearing tomato fruits and the lower part you have your potatoes. So what we're going to do is that you have your tomato and you have your potato. I will take a sucker part of this tomato and I have it here. Uh, I have discussed about it. Uh, I have a video about suckers. And as what I said, you can actually let the suckers grow if you want to reproduce plants from your one plant of tomato but if you are only you know uh, having tomato plants and you want them to grow healthy and you don't want to use the suckers then you have to take out the suckers immediately like for example this one this one is a sucker so i don't want to let them grow because i want my tomato plant to to grow very well so you can just take it with your hands and that's how they look like uh, so you from time to time like every week you have to look because every week it, it's always growing uh, suckers on it but this time I left one sucker to grow and it's because I want to use it for for my grafting so this sucker I want I will take this out I only using this one you can buy this in any you know in any any store uh, uh, so now I have I have now my uh, tomato this is the sucker that really grows quite well and big and in fact it has already beginning to have uh, uh, fruits uh, flowers on it uh, so what I will do with this yes I will graft this into my potato plant. Just be sure that when you do grafting potato, you plant a potato in a small uh, container first. And when the grafting is done, I mean, this is all this grafting survives already because they shouldn't be exposed to the sun when you just graft them. Uh, the tendency is uh, they normally doesn't survive, uh, they will die, this will wither, and they normally that you don't normally get successful uh, results so what I do actually and it's based on my experience because I had been doing this for like two years already uh, is that after you graft this you have to keep this plant somewhere where it doesn't get direct sunlight it doesn't get sunlight yet and then after like two to three days and you will see that the plant is the graft is successful then that's the time that you can uh, put it on a sunny area or you can even this one one plant uh, somewhere in your garden or transfer it in a very big pot and for me if you only have an, a balcony or an altani uh, you plant it in a very big pot and have it in your bal balcony or your altani or in your small garden and you can have like 10 big pots with a pomato uh, that is 
a, a, a potato which is grafted with a tomato on top of it. So what will I do with this? I will find an area where I can really make a very good graft and I will see to it that it you know matches with the kind of size that uh, this one and i think that this one fits very well it's almost the same size like this so what i do is i have to i have to cut this area i will cut this area here and this is the, that is where i will graft my tomato or maybe this one no it's very small i will use this one so it's just so easy to cut it because I will make this area a little bit free from those <clears throat> so you will see it so as you see I have it now free so you see it this one I will just make a cut here in the middle and why you do it yeah because you will put inside you will insert this one so to insert this you have to cut here you have to make a cut here like that it's very important that when you graft your grafting material your knife your blade when you graft this kind of plants it's enough to have a blade if you don't have this one then just use any other sharp blades you have at home shaving blades or whatever and be sure to cut it very well on top so i can So as you see now, so you have it like that. So you cut on every side. You cut here and then you cut on the other side. And then when you have that already, uh, that is the time that you will uh, insert it to your potato. And that is why you get the plant we call pomato. If you wonder how long it takes for this plant to get, normally <clears throat> in this, uh, when the time the tomato or the, uh, no, when the time the, the potato starting to have uh, the potatoes growing there down then it's also the time that your so you see now so you have now so you have now a tomato a tomato connected to your potato so what will you do of course you have to tie them as what i said before there are grafting tapes you can use uh, but normally i don't buy them they are expensive and then uh, you can actually use whatever this is actually something for the for the pipe i have other kind of plants uh, what you call this uh, tape that i can use uh, but this time i saw this one and uh, i don't have time now to look after for my 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 uh, my other tape so I will use this this is actually used when you for pipe things you know uh, this is a tape to be used in pipes uh, plumbing and all this stuff uh, and it's actually very nice to use but it's I don't I don't recommend this for everybody to use because they are quite expensive too you can actually use a tape whatever uh, electrical tape you can also use it but this time I will use this one and what I will do is I will wrap it wrapping it is two main reason why you do it first you want to protect that the plant will really be connected to each other you know uh, so it's this very simple thing very simple uh, I hope you will see it. there so as you see I'm just tying it it's you know the simple tying thing you can do and uh, that's what I said you do untie it because you really you want it to be moist too you know i 
doesn't work so well I have to do it again it's like that in this kind of thing to do you need you can really test your patience because this is a kind of thing where you really have to be patient patience is very important in everything you do in life you really need patience because if you don't have that then it's really hard for you to succeed in anything you do so now you see it very well now uh, I will do it again uh, there it is I'll do it first then some people have asked me or made a comment in my other videos before about the grafting tomato actually there's a lot of purpose there's a lot of reason why you graft plants first of all we always want that we get as as early as possible fruits in our plants and mind you all the apples fruit trees that you are eating they all comes from grafted apple trees and why because if you will plant an apple from a seed it will take you like six ten years before you can harvest fruits from your apple tree and of course you don't want that right you want to harvest as as early as possible uh, so you see now you have it so now I have my pomato plant the potato the tomato grafted to the potato I have done it last year and um, so I got some uh, it was sad because here in Sweden you don't have you have a very long we have a very long uh, winter time and then uh, when the tomato are already starting to to bear flowers they did it rich to be ripened and I don't have a place in my indoor so I was able I just you know I just harvest so I just get like five potatoes and and, and uh, my tomatoes were not ripe yet and but I have to take it because they they just die outside when it's cold but if you live like uh, in any warm countries you can do this imagine having a pomato plant in your balcony if you have just only one of this or two of this you can already have like 20 20 potatoes and a lot of tomato uh, plant and uh, if you are someone who really love plants this is really good and you don't have so there is there is no impossible thing you can always have uh, you, the possibility to have a lot of plants in your alchemy so one thing that is very good to know is grafting and it's the same you might think that you cannot have an apple tree is because you just have a, a little garden or a little alchemy or balcony no you uh, you can you can actually and all you do is just do grafting and you can have these things in big pots and uh, there was even a, a somebody a youtuber she has a very small garden but everything you can't believe she has 10 kinds of fruits and they are just growing in pots in big pots so she has she is harvesting fruits that are only growing in pots so if you're living in a warm area you can actually have big pots in your altani or balcony and you can have a potato you can have whatever and uh, if you want more varieties in it then graph you can graph if you want like three kinds of apple in 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 in, in one pot then one apple tree you graft Two different kinds of apples you can grab how much you want uh, and and that is that is very very good way of doing it so now I have it here I hope that uh, I give 
much information today but anyway if you have some questions uh, you just ask so this one i will put it now uh, somewhere that it will not be exposed to sun because it has to find a way that th this one will be connected first and i don't want this to weather so i will hide it a little bit for like one to two three days and after two three days when i see that it's uh, already doing very well then that's the time that i can take out in a big area and i can transfer this in a big pot thank you for watching this is evelyn in livabuhai